How's it going folks? Now this particular topic has got me thinking today uh, and start to realize that we in the Western world, we, in the Western world is very dysfunctional. What you've been learned, what you've been taught is very dysfunctional. And perhaps in Western world you live in it pretty dysfunctional, going against the norm and of course it's very, very more of um, human rights, freedom, and things like that, which, which it is what it is. That's what everyone wants to go to a Western country. Now, it actually happened to me to think about it. I've been thinking about it a while, but I did not know how to can I uh, connect the dots. So I connected to that and because it happened to my workplace, and it gave me a, a glimpse on what's going on. So, for example... All right. It's, dis it's designed to dysfunctional and create damaging family structures or for help your own self. All right. Now, first things first, when you have a kid and your child goes to school and what they learn from school is if your parents hit you or a guardian hit you, you must report or they call it, you call it the police. Right. That's the word for it. And when you call the police, the you know the the kid now has the power and says, "You hit me again, I'll call the police." But they don't quite understand that the implication if they call the police a couple of times or multiple times, right? Now, family. Now, I don't. Now, family discipline their child in different ways, unfortunately, and they have to use force and hitting. Even my girlfriend did the same thing with my nephew. He hits the nephew and he made him cry. I'm just saying, you everyone use different discipline to hit. Like even boyfriend, girlfriend hit each other as well. But what I'm trying to tell, say here is the fact that, um, you know, you teach a child, you know, the, the, the state teach the child to dob on the parents by hitting. Now, what happened is that is then parents next time will be, you know, will commit the same thing again or not or perhaps they don't the child don't quite understand the consequences if they keep dobbing the police at the same time or child protection will confiscate the child and take them into foster care all right and they don't quite understand and once it's been taken out then their family they'll never see their family ever again so you have that and the aspect the other aspect is perhaps is a relationship when there's a domestic violence and women and men has learned that, you know, domestic violence about emotionally, psychological, emotionally, psychological, physical, cognitive. And when you go through that sort of abuse and coming across as, uh, you know, a domestic violence, man, it will take you, a, you know, intervention order and court cases and divorces can lead up to it as well and separation and things like that when you think about that that's destroying that was made to destroy you know if you're not happy he does this he does that or she does this she does that you report and it just goes even further and you know destroying and takes things a lot serious and yeah you destroy the whole thing another one is the fact that workplace and uh, one of them is when a uh, um I'm only specifically stating um, the ladies because I can't say that for men, but when ladies showing their cleavage or showing their curve and when guys are staring at it or flirt about it, that's a sexual harassment. Now, that could lead him to lose his job, and when he loses his job, that's on his history book for being lose his job for sexual harassment. So it's like a form of under the rape and it's not going too good you know getting sacked over that and how are you going to find a next job when your reference is gone another one is what you see on at the workplace and you report it now especially in my industry um, i have to look after vulnerable people it actually happened today but i won't tell you the exact event what has happened but when you dub on what their family's action, it brings them 
instead of doing good, it may backfire you and it may create a distance relationship how the way they betrayed as a worker they are dobbers I can't even do whatever I want with their loved ones and not only just that but it makes you look bad amongst your co-workers oh this guy's a dobber you know and watch what she's saying or you know you started to Keep it, uh, you decide to distance away from your co-workers, things like that. So you, it doesn't create any good. I'm not saying all of them good or bad, but, you know, it's very disappointing. I'm just giving you that example, but if you dub on your worker, your co-worker, then it will it'll form of this pack tribal mentality on ganking up on you or hating on you or distance away from you. And things like that. And that is also a way of, you know, isolation. Part of the bullying. So you have that as well. Then you have workplace bullying. That kind of makes sense. But what I'm trying to tell you is it's very dysfunctional, you know. And you've been taught, you've been encouraged to do so. And to stand up what you believe is right. And I'm not saying 100% time is right, but this is the stuff that's been promoting. And not like the Eastern society is like that. So yeah, dysfunctional, man. And it's been bedded and grain. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more stuff out there, but I'm just letting you guys know. And also right now, you know, saying the wrong words will get you in trouble. Oh, you know, your, your, what's that word? Your red or right wing or your conservative and it gets you in trouble, not only just by your action, but also words as well.